extra minutes. Oh, the environment is is at great risk. I mean, really, on the planet, we're, it's not a case of how many of us there are. It's how big our footprint is. It's how much each of us uh, consumes. If, if there were seven billion of us uh, and we all lived like, uh, you know, Bangladeshis, we'd have, we'd have plenty of space. But unfortunately, we don't. We all live like Americans, and 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 that makes it very difficult for us. But down south. Uh, you know the amount of uh, climate change that's that, that's affecting the western part of Antarctica, in terms of things like uh, glacial melt, uh, the uh, the temperature increases down there. We've had four degrees roughly of temperature rise in the last 75 years in the western part of Antarctica, uh, and you know the western part of the Antarctic, if even a small proportion of that melts, will have you know meters of sea level rise. Meters and of, and of course in, in the in the North Pole. You now have the legendary Northwest Passage, don't you? Yeah, I mean the Every North Summer. The North Pole's a different different thing altogether because the North Pole is just sea ice. Mm. You go to the North Pole, it's just a piece of ice floating at ninety degrees north, whereas down south the South Pole is almost three thousand meters thick. That's the actual South Pole. Uh, so it doesn't take much to melt only mm. five meters thickness of ice at the North Pole. That's the maximum thickness of ice. Once that goes, the ocean warms up as more heat is absorbed by the sea and then less ice forms which makes the ocean warmer, which makes less ice, and you have a, a positive feedback loop, which makes it worse and worse each year. So the journey to the North Pole is really no longer possible, pretty much, from, from the land. If we lost the Antarctic ice sheet and uh, Greenland, we're getting something, some huge couple hundred feet sea level yes, rise. Yes, we'd end up with about 85 metres of sea level rise. Uh, it'd be, I mean, it would just be catastrophic. And uh, it's not a case of just inundation, it's... Things like, you know, with the sea level rising, you end up with, with uh, salt water getting into all our aquifers beneath our cities. In, in Australia, a lot of our groundwater that we rely on is, uh, is near the coast. And uh, salt water gets into those aquifers. It's heavier than the fresh water. It just sinks through the whole uh, aquifer and just contaminates the whole lot.